Hello, everybody. Yep. So, uh, as Yusuf said, I'm Evan Dayringer, and uh, yeah, I'm a local farmer, and I help with uh, B bars. Just my partner Britton's uh, uh, raw bar business, and um, gosh, I've worked at Tantre and Frog Holler, and you know, definitely been at the Ann Arbor Farmers Market quite a lot. Um, but today, I wanted to talk a little bit about another farmers market, which I've been part of the organizing team for, and one of the vendors, and. Um, Let's get this queued up here. Oh, look, is this, do I just hit play and it's going to do its thing? Okay, cool. So uh, the Cobblestone Farm Market is on Packard Road uh, from 4 to 7 every Tuesday starting May 20th. And, uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about all of this policy stuff, sort of bigger picture, sustainable local food. And Cobblestone Farm Market, I think, is just a great example of what it can look like. Um, you know, you see herds of, of smiling children, you see stories being told, you see really great food on display and being sold and enjoyed. Um, you see these connections being made. We've talked about, you know, growing community, uh, <laughs> meeting your neighbors, um, having this sort of like uh, gathering force that sustainable food has a real potential for. Um, and uh, so basically, Cobblestone Farm Market has this great story of being very much rooted in the community. Um, it was just a couple of neighbors over on Easy Street talking to each other, and they said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we had a farmer's market right next door? And, uh, you know, eight months later, they went to the city, they went to the Cobblestone Farm Association, and got some friends together who were willing to volunteer a lot of time and effort to make it all happen behind the scenes. They talked to a lot of great farmers and uh, bakers and uh, food vendors and um, just talked to a lot of their neighbors and made this vision come true. And so, you know, we're talking about access points. We're talking about things you can do is just envision what you'd like in your, in your own neighborhood. What would you like to see happening right next door? And get your friends together, get your neighbors together, and, and get out there and and just make it happen, and it, it really can happen. Um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, we've got, I believe, uh, 30 vendors over the last two years, about is the average. I'm, I'm checking with Janine over here just to make sure. Um, but, you know, people who are, are making food, who are making a living, who are going on to make these great uh, economic impacts in the community, um, it's it's really become one of those third places. You know, people go to work, they go home, they go to work, they go home, and sometimes they can go to that third place um, and they can meet their neighbors. They can they know they're going to have a good time. They know their kids are going to have a good time, and um, you know, it's just something you can you can make a space for in your week. Um, and so I wanted to really just come out and and show what's been going on at Cobblestone over the last few years. Uh, to give people just a vision of like this is this can happen in your neighborhood. It doesn't have to be a farmers market in your neighborhood. Maybe you live, you know, downtown, and you can go right to the farmers market. Or maybe you'd like to get involved in your school garden. Um, or maybe you do want to get involved on a on a broader scale statewide. But um, you know, this is this is why we're doing it. This is it. You know, this is this is local food. Um, oh, George, right there. He reminds me. Uh, the Cobblestone Farm Association just recently celebrated 40 years uh, as sort of a historical uh, association, but um, they've been uh, really working with us closely. We're uh, actually an event of the Cobblestone Farm Association, but we, I think, have brought a lot of new energy into this organization. Um, those are all the pictures, but I'll just keep that running. Oh, or maybe I won't. But. Um, <laughs> I think I think that's a nice taste of sort of what has been going on over on Packard Road for the last couple of years, and I really want to encourage people four to seven every Tuesday evening all summer long. It goes into November. Um, come out, you know, bring your family, bring a friend, or just you know make it make it there on your way home from work, and uh, and you won't you you know you'll be glad you made it, and we'll be glad you made it, and. Uh, Go out and, and make something similar happen in your own neighborhood as well. And uh, thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to the Q&A. And uh, thanks a lot, everybody.